I had not, 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 like, I was done. I was swollen. I'm too enough. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. I want to roll with son. Instigate this situation. He dust you. Now you want to dust me. And then it ends up to the point where I almost killed the dude. He had to get staples. Try to do everything legit. Because if you don't, you're going to make the same mistakes I made. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Tola Ripa Hadith to Sabi YouTubers and viewers Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD And y'all already know um, we're coming back to y'all We said we're going to be doing Federal Fridays Maybe Upstate Saturdays or Upstate Sundays But right now we're still in the streets when it comes to my story And why and how I ended up choosing this life of crime And the benefits you're going to derive from these stories So it's three stories in one Okay, so this one, I was going up to Roich Man. Roich Man is my old junior high school. So now I'm already in high school, but a lot of guys that I used to hang with, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, smooth, BG, you know what I'm saying? Pressure, you know what I'm saying? A lot of those guys were younger than me, like by one grade. Um, it, it just ended up like that. The guys that I, I banged with was one year younger than me. So I used to just go up to the school a lot to go check on them when I went to the next grade. So this day I went up there with one of my boys. Um, he, he he had a little size stocky. Um, we was up there. I don't remember the situation and how it occurred, but there was a dude up there. Let's call him Jojo. You know, I might have instigated it more than likely because every time I was around, I was in the everything but a casket. I was very ignorant and um, foolish and when, when I was young very foolish um so i don't know how it broke or how it went down and why it went down but i know my man ended up tapping him you know when you tap somebody and then you go on this side but instead he tapped him and when he turned around my man socked him real hard my man was like stocky you know and when he socked him he fell with his lips split a lot of blood you know what i'm saying came from that um salute to jojo because me and him is like mad tight right now he done brought rip sticks from me and everything but i'm gonna tell you how jojo got some get back so after that jojo had a grudge against me for whatever reason remember what i told you i was 120 pounds soaking wet with bricks in my pocket so i was skinny but like i said i was on my weapon tree heavy um so i guess jojo was running around talking crazy he wanted to fight me um or whatever the case may be so i'm like Yo, you know what i'm gonna go up there I'm going to catch Jojo after school, and I'm going to bust him down like a Lucy. So, boom. I got this small Louisville slugger. I mean, a nice small one. If y'all know about the, the, the small Louisville sluggers back in the days, I used to slip it in my sleeve. But with this particular Louisville slugger, I was so diabolical. I had, like, flathead nails, and I had them going around the back. If I could show you guys a picture I'm going I'm to I'm go ahead and post it. If I can't find it, I won't show it to you. But it, I had them going around the top of the bat, you know. So this is the bat. They was lined up around it. So, you know, it was edgy. And then I wrapped it with electrical tape, you know. And I always kind of like had it on me. I said, yo, man, if I hit somebody with this, I might, I might kill him, you know. Words. So I hear he's talking. My man's is telling me he's talking crazy. So I said, yo, you know what? I had one of my boys ride me on the bike. You know how we used to sit on the handlebars. He rides me up there. I get off the bike. Um, we right here on Avenue N. Um, I see Jojo. So I'm like, yo, what's up? He like, yo, what's up? So I pulls the bat out. So I second guessed it. Um, and alhamdulillah, it was for a reason I second guessed it. Because I might have, I, I would have probably really, really hurt him. I handed the bat to my boy. I said, you know what? I'm going to fight Jojo. So I went to throw the hands with Jojo. Listen, bruh. I've been dusted. But that day, Jojo dusted me. I mean, he must have been holding whatever he was holding in for me behind that situation with my man. Hitting him with the one piece so bad that, yo, my eyes was blurry. Like, I was, I was done. I'm talking about Jojo might have hit me with a 20 piece, maybe more. I'm not sure. Jojo crushed me. So 
I gets home. I don't know how I got home. Maybe my man rode me back on a bike or whatever. So my sister, baby father, right at the time, he's older than us. He's messing with hammers and all that. It's nothing. Jojo dust me. That's it. So I'm in the crib. So they get word. Oh. So I got a towel on my head in the house. So they ask like, yo, uh, let me, you know, they want to see me. Man, listen, when I took that towel off my head and they seen how I looked, yo, boy, when I used to watch TV, like way back, I said used to, but like into Martin Lawrence and all of that. Now I don't have no time to even be, but when TV was it and it wasn't YouTube and I was all into that, yeah, y'all remember when Martin fought Tommy Hearns and that was exaggerated, but for my situation, listen, boy, I had not, 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 like, I was done. I was swollen. So when they see me, they was like, Nizza, Negatron, we, we, we got to go see, boy. Mind you, my sister, baby father, he's older. So her, him and my sister leave out. He grabs the hammer. I don't know if y'all remember these um, Brico Jennings. We used to call them Millennium Nines back in the days. And when you used to cock them to know that one bullet was in the head, the, the the like orange or red buttons used to pop out of the firing pin and out of the top. Only only people from the from the 90s would know what I'm talking about. He had one of them joints, silver joints. He wraps up, dips out the house to go look for so-and-so. He ain't going to bust me probably. I don't know what he was going to do. So I'm done. I'm finished. JoJo got that one. It's cool. I'm not one of those, if you dust me, then I'm going to come back and you know, it's just like, ah, it was a fair one. You dusted me, you good. So we let it ride. But for whatever reason, because of my status in the neighborhood or whatever, I don't know if Jojo felt some type of way that, you know, I was going to try to get get back. But once my, my, my sister's baby father went out and they didn't find him, it was just like, all right, it's cool. I'm not, I don't hold no grudges. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know, I couldn't stop them from going out too. Cause once they see me, they was like, you know, we ain't trying to hear what you're saying. So long story short, Jojo connects with another dude. We gonna call him Lulu. So Lulu Latin King, and he go he goes to the school. Now I'm a year above them, but Lulu must be new in the school, so I don't know him. So Lulu got crazy connections. He from he from Sunset Park. He got all of the Boricuas, the Spanish people, they, they Latin kinged out over there. So we got a next dude, I'm going to call him Roro. So we got Jojo, Lulu, and Roro. So Roro from around our way, Jojo close close by as well, a, a little deeper. And Lulu is way in Sunset Park. So I guess they come together like, yeah, we're going to go in their hood. We're going to go see what's up, X, Y, Z. So... I'm getting word, but I'm not sure. Like, yeah, they not they not pulling up. So I'm hearing they gonna come through the hood today. And mind you, I left that situation. Jojo dust me something nasty, and it was like cool. All right, it's a one on one. What? It's good. You all right, bro? You got that? So now we in the park one day, and we chilling. So we hearing they gonna come. They gonna come. So in in my park, you know, pain train. There's two entrances to like to get to the playground area. But then there's many other entrances through the field and all of that stuff. But to get to the playground area, we be in the back, back in the benches. That's where people used to smoke. We had a lot of foolishness used to go on back there. So we sitting back there one day. We see one car pull up. We see another car pull up. We see a third car pull up. So we like, we see people hopping out. So we like, yo, we see yellow flags, female. We dips out through the other side of the park. Lolo, I mean, Lulu done went and brought mad Latin kings to the park. Older, older cats, because we young boys. So we like, all right, I dips on the other side, Av H. I go get, I go get my sister, baby father and his clan. Now they older as well. So, you know, they gripped up and all of that. So that's all we need because we're not trying to kill nobody. We just, we like, yo, they out there deep. We we, we want to go, we want to have a Royal Rumble. Pull up. They come through deep. I mean, the whole Ab H sides, 
you know what I mean? On on bikes, everybody, you know, it's, it's back in the days. We young, they're a little bit older. So when we pull up, they in the park, deep. So it don't matter because we got older dudes with us and they strapped. These dudes got like um, brass knuckles, you know, uh, um, chains, regular like, like, like Royal Rumble street fight. So mind you, I got on a blue Tommy Hilfiger pullover spring jacket almost. You know what I'm saying? So I got the Louisville slugger in my in, 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 in my sleeve. So after I, after I got it in with JoJo, what I did was I said, hey, you know what? So these nails ain't going to be a good look if I hit somebody with them. They, they I might crush them. So you know what? Let me take these nails off. So I took the nails off, mind you. At that time, I took the nails off. I said, so if I run into anybody, I could just really bat them down. You know what I'm saying? So I'm young. I'm 15. So, boom, I got the Louisville Slugger, no nails in them. So, you know, we line up. So uh, Lulu talking to my brother. You know, we we trying to see what's good. I'm in there stitching there, pressure in there, BG in there. We deep, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I got all of the older cats. So, Lulu and my brother talking. So, I guess Lulu like, uh, 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 my brother just dust them. Yo, shut up, man. What's up? Hit him, right? Boom. So, Lulu back up. Everybody like, oh. So, now Lulu taking off his beads, his chain and all, whatever he had on, his black and yellow beads. So, I, I go ahead and slip him out, the Louisville slugger. Mind you, I don't really know Lulu, but I know Lulu came to do something to me, and you rolling with Jojo and Roro. So I'm like, all right, I slip seam out. I don't even get to get back at jo at Jojo for dusting me, because I'm not really tripping, Jojo. We even. My man busted you. You crushed me. What? Well, it's, it's all gravy. You know what I'm saying? So I slips the Louisville out. And I'm coming from like the back. So when I'm coming from the back, I get like a like a good running start. And man, la ilaha illallah, man. None has the right to be worshipped by Allah, man. So I, yo, I could see this so vividly. Man, I, I hit him, I hit him so hard. Yo, when I when I tell you everything stopped. Everybody stopped. I started crying after I hit him. Not because I thought I heard him. I, I didn't care at that time. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's like, damn. You know, excuse my French, but, yo, you're bugging. You just try to kill this dude. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, I'm young, like, yo, he came over to my park. He trying to act like he want to put work in. And, you know, so it didn't even matter at that time. So when I ran, you know how, like, you be seeing them little samurai shows and they running with the sword down? It was like that. And I kid you not. I caught a nice, nice head start run. And when I hit him, boom, like I hit him so hard and was going forward so fast that I, I got, I went past him. Boom. So I'm looking at everybody after I hit him. I don't even turn around. So everybody's just quiet. <gasps> you, you understand what I'm saying? So. When I finally, I have the bat in my hand, I start talking like, yeah, which one of y'all, you know, I'm going north. And when I turn around, I look and it's lights out. You know, it's, it's, I mean, his eyes is rolling behind his head. You know, he, his, he's leaking. He's leaking. But, but right after that, I still didn't, I didn't care. I, I, it felt good at the time. But now looking back, you like, yo. You you was a rebel. You understand what I'm saying? Everything that happened to you from then until now, you deserved every bit of it. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I don't cry when something happens to me because I know how much I've done and how much I've, I, you know, I tried to do and didn't complete, you know. So when I tell you about me getting shot and a lot of the times, a lot of stuff wasn't for me, but it happened to me. So what? You know what I mean? Why you? You know me? Why you? Why not you? You know, you out here doing all of this crime, all of this foolishness, you're going to get what you deserve. So after I hit him, he was on the floor. Everybody was frozen. 
it was time for me to get out of there, get out of Dodge. That's all I know how to do. I got on this, my little bike. You know, we used to have those little small bikes back in the days, you know, with the handlebars. Got on my little, little bike, you know what I'm saying, with the big wheels, rode out of there, went to my man, Rohan Crib. Y'all probably know Brash, Brash two times, yeah. Him and his brother Spot went to their crib because they was in the crib at the time. You know, was piling with them, letting them know what happened. So, it didn't end there. I mean, it ended with, with that whole situation, but I don't know how Lulu got to the hospital, who took him to the hospital. They had women out there with yellow flags on. You understand what I'm saying? Women, men, brass knuckles, blades, knives. After that, my brother fought Jojo, dusted him. So when I heard that, I was like, yeah, so he dusted me. Then Stitch wanted some work. So Stitch fought Roro, dusted him. And pressure like, nah, nah, I want some work. He fought Roro right after Stitch and dusted him. And I guess that's basically how that situation ended. Later on, yes, the cops did come to my crib. They they did question me um, about that situation. I never seen Lulu after that. Um, like I said, me and Jojo till this day, we cool. Um, and basically the moral of the story is don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You understand? Do not be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because if you is, then bad stuff is going to happen. Bottom line. They say, You would be on the deen of your companion. You know, you, So be careful who you choose as a close companion. So basically, birds of a feather flock together. So if you running with this dude and this dude is into everything except for a casket, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be into everything except for a casket and everything that's happening to him or he's doing, you're going to end up doing. And the lashback, you're going to get it. So because I'm rolling with this dude, he end up dusting Jojo. Now Jojo want to dust me just because I'm there. Whether I instigated it or not, I didn't never touch you, Jojo. You know what I'm saying? But because I'm too nuff. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time on the road with son. Instigate this situation. He dust you. Now you want to dust me. And then it ends up to the point where I almost killed the dude. He had to get staples to um close up, close up his head. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that ever affected him long, long term. Um speech impediment, you know, learning disability. I don't know. It's a possibility. But to understand that you can do something like that at the age of 15 to somebody and not even care shows how lost I was. You understand what I'm saying? So we ask Allah for forgiveness, man. And I say, yo, for the young people out there, man, be careful. Be careful. You know, you like these weapons. You like these knives. You like these guns. Go to the military, man. Um, you know, when you get 16, 17, 18, go to a gun range. Release your stress. Try to do everything legit because if you don't, you're going to make the same mistakes I made. And the mistakes I made was 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 a hard learning. It wasn't an easy learning. Okay, guys, Um, till next time, like I said, the next one is going to be me getting shot. Um, And then we're going to get into my first time on Rikers Island. Or I might do that one first because I actually went to Rikers Island before I got shot, stay tuned, stay rip, six pack, big bag. Indeed, in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh